guys um today we are going to finish off um the picture that we started the tiger picture and today we're going to think about doing the background for henry russo's tiger picture so this is my version this is the original picture that henry russo painted let's take this away you can see roughly what we're going to try and create today we're just going to use a bit of finger painting okay so all i've done is you'll need um a selection of leaves you can pick them up on your travels on your days out or um ivy's quite a good one because that that doesn't seem to um, go soft it keeps its shape these were picked last night you can see these ones are starting to curl up and dry, but ivy lasts really well. So you'll need a scrap bit of paper just to paint on. You'll need your painting. I'm just going to move my tiger out of the way. You'll need a plain piece of paper. And all I've done here is I've mixed a selection of paints. So some are green. Some I've done like... Um, Put a bit of yellow and green in. Uh, this one is blue and yellow. So you can mix up a different colours of paints. Okay. So you want lots of different shades of green. So I'm just going to put them over to the side. And let's get started. This is my paper. And what I'm going to do. First of all I'm going to paint green. Let's put them there. So I'm going to use a dark green. This is how I'm going to build up. So I'm going to put my dark green. Just paint the bottom of the leaf. So don't do the shiny side. Turn it onto reverse and paint the back of the leaf. Give it a good coat of paint. Do a bit of a stem if you want to. And then you're going to just push it down. I'm going to do a bit of leaf printing. Okay, lift up. And you can, might have enough paint in there. You can do another one, different heights. Just a good push down to the edges. Stop. I do like leaf printing. You get some fabulous um, printouts with the veins. Just do one more. Put some more paint on that one. So we'd want a little bit low. Oops, let's put that there. Paintbrush won't go. So I'm going to put one there. And all you're doing is really building layers. So I'm going to do some coming out the side because this is a jungle. And a jungle has leaves and branches, all different heights, different lengths coming in at the sides, coming down from the top. I'm just going to put loads on the bottom, around the outside like that. I'm just going to change my leaf. So this time I've just taken, this is off um, a rose bush that I've got. Um, so I've just taken the leaf off there. Be careful because roses have thorns on. This one didn't. Um, so I'm just going to take this one. Um, and paint this in a lighter green. I'm just going to paint this over there. I'm going to paint each leaf. Again, on the reverse, we're going to try and do as many shades of green or styles, build up our picture. Um, this one I'm going to do coming over the side, I think. This one, I'm just going to hold it. Got to be careful not to try and move the um, leaf around too much. Put some in there so it looks like the leaf are coming down from the top. This one's not quite a strong colour. Just more we'll paint on. This one coming up. Okay, so as you can see, we're starting to get nice pattern, nice textures. Let's change my leaf. So I've picked this one. I'm going to use um, it's quite a pointy ivy leaf. Let's change my green. Is there a 
a slightly different green. I'm just going to paint these. I'm going to put these all across the bottom. So I can make it look really jungly. There we go. Oh, paint. Um, this one, I'm just going to, where I've done this one here, I'm just going to put these ones in between and try and build up the layers. Because the jungle has lots of layers. I'm just going above. Where's the last time I put the leaf at the bottom? This time I'm lifting the leaf up and doing it a little higher. Do somewhere over here. Go right to the edge on this one. So we're just getting lots of nice leaves. We'll do some more coming down from the top. A couple in the middle. Just to fill this top. Up. One over in this corner. Make sure you put some newspaper down, guys. Um, see what Miss Harris done. I've got a bit on the table. I don't want no angry mummies. Okay, so we're getting a nice big splodgy mess coming up here. Okay. Um, next one I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of finger painting. Okay, just wipe the fingers off. Okay, so this one I'm going to use, oh, this nice dark green again. I'm just going to use, we use when we use, we need to um, use our first finger. We're going to do a bit of finger painting. So all I'm going to do is do some different leaves. And these ones I'm just doing spots. Coming up. We can do them. Nice and tall. I'm going to do another one over here. Ah, I put too much paint on. Don't do that one. A nice dribble right across me work now. I'm just going all the way up. Okay. I'm going to do one more over here. Uh, I don't want it too spaced out. I'm going to do it. And this looks quite fun. And you'll enjoy getting all messy. If you haven't got any paints, you can always try. Um, if you've got access to a leaf, you can always try. And... Um, Draw a leaf and make your own jungle, draw your own trees. So remember what we do, we have one piece of tissue paper, we just put our finger in, we wipe it, we don't need to wash yet, we'll wait um, until the end till we're really finished, just like we do in school. Um, the next colour I'm going to do, I'm going to use this really luminous green type colour. I'm going to use my finger again. I'm going to do... Um, you get some vines in the jungle, what the monkeys swing from. So we're just going to try and do just some nice wiggly lines going all the way down. Oh, this is hard on it, because my finger doesn't want to move. And slice, go wiggly down. I'm sure your lovely little fingers will do a better job than my fingers are doing at the moment. So remember, go do some towards the edge of your page. Okay. 
Okay, so we're getting a nice super jungle picture. We can do, um, let me think. Oh, we can do this one. Okay, what colour did I use? I oh, will use this nice bright green. Let's move that off. So, what we're going to do on this one, we can do some actual leaves. So, you can go sad face, happy face. Do a couple of these. Uh, try and find some. We can do some. Let's do one in that gap. Sad face, happy face. Feel the gap in. We can do some from the side. We can do some from this side. Oh, let's do a smaller one. We'll do a couple together. Okay, we can do another one coming in that gap. Okay, then I'm just going to clean my finger. And then what you're going to do, you're going to find a paint brush. If you've got a paint brush or a barbecue skewer or something with a thin sharp point, you're going to use the bottom of that. And then what we can do, ah, it's not going to work on there. You can do your leaf, so you do your line down the middle, and then you do your V's coming off. That one's not going to work. Very well. And you can do some scoring into the leaf pattern you've just done. Some of these are working better than others. Oh. And you can see it's a very effective way of doing it. That's better now that the paint's drying off. Okay, so you can score. You may want to clean that. You may want to do some wiggly lines through your vines. Just to make it more effective. Get some textures going into our work. Okay. So now you can see I've got a lovely green jungle picture appearing onto my um, on my jungle. Oh, my other lion stuck itself down. So then when you finish, uh, that one's not going to work. My other lion stuck. So the lion is that I take this other one that I did. Um, the lion that you did. You, when you've cut it out, you can lay him diagonally. So his feet are there, and his paws are up, so it looks like he's leaping. And you can do him diagonally, leaping across the page. And that is it. You've completed your Henry Russo type picture. If you want to, you can trim the edges off where we don't haven't got quite to the edges. You can mount it onto a nice piece of green card just to give it a final... Um, a final oop and make it look really cool please upload your um pictures to the stm twitter site i know some of the year group ones have been taken down so just post them to the stm site instead thank you look forward to seeing them bye